Hey guys, my name is Seema and I am a storyteller. Today is World Environment Day and I'm going to share a beautiful story called Miku and the Trees. This is a folk tale from Estonia and Finland. So who is Miku and what are the trees? What are they going to do to Miku? We'll find out soon enough. Now Miku went to gather firewood into the forest. Now he could have just picked up whatever was there on the ground, you know, fallen branches and twigs. Instead, he decided that it was too much of trouble. Who will gather all these twigs and branches? He decided to chop a tree once for all and take a big log of wood. You see, it was winter and he needed that wood to keep himself warm for his cooking and things like that so took his axe he saw a huge tree and he was about to hit it when the tree said stop 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 don't cut me please what is this a talking tree who are you and why are you talking to me asked Miku I am the birch tree and please please don't cut me why should I not cut you said you see I am useful. My bark, you use that to make baskets. And with my twigs, you make broomsticks. So please don't cut me. I am very, very useful. Please, please spare me, begged the birch tree. Now Miku thought about it. He said, true, this tree is very useful. So he said, okay, you're useful. I'll spare you. After all, there are so many trees in the forest. He turned around and was about to go deeper into the forest when that birch tree said, Miku, and he turned back and said, what now? And the tree said, just remember one thing, you care for us and we'll care for you. Uh huh. First he was talking and now he's singing thought Miku and off he went to the forest and the next tree he saw was a tree full of cherries a big tree he said this is just the right one he took his axe swung it he was just about to hit it when that tree too said stop 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 please please spare me please please don't care you know kill me and Miku said, oh my God, you two talk and what should, why should I not kill you? And that is when the tree said, can't you see the cherries? I thought you loved cherry pies. I thought you loved cherries in deserts and you want to kill me? Oh, oh. Miku said, okay, okay, okay. Ah, sorry, sorry. I didn't realize that. There are so many other trees. Let me go. The cherry tree thanked Miku but said, Miku, just remember. You care for us and will care for you. Okay, okay, I've taken care of you, he said. And off he went. The next tree he saw was a maple tree. And he thought, okay, now whatever said and done, I am going to chop this. So he took his axe, lifted it, he was about to swing it. When the maple tree too said, please, please spare me. Have you forgotten? You like maple syrup, you like maple sugar. How can you do this to me? Uh-oh. And again, the same story happened to whichever tree he went. Every tree had a use. Some had birds in it. Some gave shelter to animals. Some gave medicines, you know, with the barks from which you could make medicines. And so soon Miku realized that there was not a single tree which was not useful. And he could not chop any of them. But he thought, what about winter? What about my food? How do I cook? Oh, oh. So he sat under a tree and he worried. And that was when he saw the floor of the forest. It was filled with twigs and branches, some huge branches. And he thought, why should I chop a tree? Why should I kill something? I just have to use this. And the minute he thought that, there was an apparition, like something that came out of nowhere. Shh! He looked around scared and there was a strange creature, an old man with a grey beard. He had a hat that was made of twigs and leaves and acorns, a bark coat. He looked really strange indeed. He said, I am the god of the forest. 
the spirit of the forest and i just heard what you thought you thought of not killing any of the trees not chopping anything and i'm very very pleased you seem to be a smart boy miku and so i grant you a magic wand he gifted a magic wand now miku was so surprised he said what can i do with this wand he said anything you ask for you'll get it you feel like having honey just look at the bees point it to the bees and say i want honey and the honey will come you want cherries point it to the birds the birds will get your cherries and berries you can ask for anything and you will get it but remember one thing never ask for anything selfish never ask for anything that goes against nature that will hurt the environment and miku thought fine that's not unreasonable so i said yes 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 he grabbed the wand off he went home he first repaired the roof his roof you know had all the leakages he asked some birds to cover it up he did all kinds of things he had honey he had food he asked the moles to plow his fields and soon he had everything that he could have asked for everything that he dreamed for he became rich he became lazy unfortunately he also became very very greedy and very very boastful so what he did is one day when it was cold winter he decided ah i hate this winter i don't like this cold he took his wand pointed to the sun and said sun make it hot 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 <gasps> the sun was shocked you can't make winter into summer just like that so many trees and so many animals everything get affected by it but the sun had to obey it the sun got very very angry at miku's unreasonable request he said you want it to be hot wait see what i'll do and it became hotter 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 so hot that the wand melted and miku himself disappeared yes Miku disappeared and nobody knows till dead where Miku is and from that day onwards the trees decided these human beings they don't understand what we talk what is the point of talking we told them you take care of us we'll take care of you they're not bothered at all and so from that day onwards they decided never to talk again till a man becomes more intelligent till he understands how to take care of this earth we will not talk and so they only whisper it is said they stopped talking they started whispering and that is the sound you hear when you go to a forest when you go near some trees you hear them whispering and do you know what they whisper you take care of us and we'll take care of you what a wonderful story isn't it a story of how to take care of nature and then nature will take care of us i hope you like the story as much as i did thank you